Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Uh, let's continue playing with our friend, the Batman. So as you can, as you can see, we reached uh, level 23. Our character is a hero, mentored by Batman, powers gadget, weapon martial arts, and movement acrobatics. So let's get started. Uh, sadly, if you guys saw in my previous video, um, the video was cut short a bit uh, at the start of the video. Uh, basically, if you're wondering uh, which character gave me the, the, the missions when I started my previous video, uh, you have to talk to Jim Gordon. You have to go to to the Gotham East End uh, police station, you talk to your friend Gordon, and that's how those uh, those missions get started. And here you can see I changed uh, the layer of my character. I'm using a proper Batman layer. That doesn't really matter, but I thought you guys might get a kick out of uh, seeing that. For those of you wondering, uh, basically you have to purchase your... There's various layers that you can purchase in the marketplace. This is one of those layers that you have to purchase. And uh, I think that is it. So let's go to Metropolis. Uh, in order to do that, we'll have to go to. Um, we'll have to go to the Watchtower. I tweaked the loadout of my character a bit, but uh, I'll probably tweak it a bit more. Uh, oh, actually, I probably should have stayed. Uh, if we want to talk to Cyborg, we have to go to Midtown. So that's exactly where we were. So I will probably tweak my loadout uh, once I manage to get all the uh, all the uh, gadget power abilities. But right now, the loadout I have, it'll be more than enough to do uh, to do the job. Early on, you can pretty much use uh, any any loadout and any any weapon you like. At this point, uh, the the game the game shouldn't be that difficult, and it should allow you to experiment uh, in order to find out which uh, which abilities you kind of like to use. Oh, there's a little prisoner that tries to escape, so let's try and stop him. Uh, before we go see our friend Cyborg, you. Uh, there's a whole bunch of Booster Gold missions you can get, like you can see Welcome here. Welcome uh, to Exploration Adventures with Booster Gold. I'm Booster Gold. This adventure will take you to Centennial Park, a peaceful oasis hidden amidst the bustling glass and steel cityscape. So these are missions that you can get pretty much any time. Oh, a nice, uh, nice looking character. So these are missions you can get, you can get pretty much at uh, as you level up uh, in various uh, police stations. Uh, they're not difficult missions. Uh, you basically, you just travel from one uh, kiosk to the other, click on the kiosk, listen, watch the, the short video, and rinse and repeat. Oracle tell you about Trigon Sin Demons? Brother Blood raised them, and now they're all over Metropolis, corrupting people and feeding Trigon's energy. We don't put a stop to this. Trigon will rise, and nobody wants that. Trust me. You will need all your courage for this fight. Cyborg and the other Titans have already faced Trigon once. Now Trigon's power rises with each citizen corrupted by his sin demons. We must save these people and weaken Trigon's power. So we can see the uh, new cyborg uh, look. I kind of miss the old look, but uh, what can you do? And in case you're wondering, uh, I probably should make a video just about the police station at some point. Uh, there's a few police stations, like the, the one in the Diamond District and this one, where you have a crafting station. So if for some reason you cannot go to the watchtower to do your crafting, you can come here. And that's a pretty... I kind of like sometimes to take a look at the, the looks that other people are, are creating for their characters. So let's go to Metropolis. A nice uh, flash type. So, let's see. So I think uh, this is the mission where we're going to end up fighting uh, the evil Brother Blood. So 
so we'll probably fight a whole bunch of uh, different demons. But before we get started, there's always a. Uh, Pretty much in every every area is where you, where you get missions. There's usually. Uh, really use your help. Those demons tore into this armored car. They didn't just take it; they ate it. There's usually NPCs that will give you. Uh, there's usually NPCs that will give you a side quest. So before you get started on your main quest, uh, just look around in case you know, there's a side quest that you could uh, play. Thanks for stopping me. Before I don't lose my badge. I swore to protect and Thanks serve. Thanks for stopping me before it's too late. late. Are you crazy? That's a lot of money. As you can see, you have a whole bunch of different objectives, and as you complete some of them, sometimes they'll trigger another objective. Like you saw the, the evil demon that we saw. Basically, once you click on the, the bag, it summons a, an evil demon. Demon, uh, forget the oh, but not this one, I guess. There we go. So it summons a, an evil minion of greed. Let's kill it. So let's go like the little investigation. A red gem is rather fitting. You must have tried to cross my cold dead fingers. Much blood over the ages. Everyone has their right. So as you can see, we need to defeat the uh, 20 uh, Demons of Greed. Uh, some of them we get from uh, when, you, when we open the satchels. But uh, there's some uh, also that are just uh, around in the map, so we don't, we're don't. we not going to have to open 20 satchels. When we're done with the satchels, we'll just uh, run around looking for the Demons. Let's kill it! Good lord! What happened here? So if you have a shield, uh, it can be useful when you want to collect uh, when you want to collect investigations. So we still need a few demons of greed.
And let's try to find the last one we need. Uh, let's see if we can help our old friend here. So once we're done, let's go to their journal. Let's complete it. I'm triangulating the source of all these demons. Trigon's daughter Raven is pride, so you won't be seeing that sin. Unless Trigon possesses her again. So as you can see, we've got a little reward box. Usually it's a, at this point it's a weapon. With each devoured soul, these gluttony demons feed Trigon the power he needs to pass through. Eliminate these demons and revert any corrupted citizens back to themselves. As you saw, we got a new pair of gloves and we got uh, a new weapon. And there is usually a side quest right here, so let's pick it up before we start on the main quest. Those glutton crazy citizens are attacking every hot dog cart they see. We gotta keep them from eating themselves. It's not a big deal if you don't get the side quest right away. But it does speed up the process if you take all the quests all at once. But I often say this universe online is not a marathon. Uh, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. So no need to rush. So let's use our old shield. Temptation cannot be destroyed, but it can be managed. The neural neuralizer lasts uh, longer than I uh, than I remembered. So let's see if we can. Uh... Let's pick up that little investigation first before we forget. It's very easy to get uh, carried away by some other missions and then to forget to come back for some of the stuff you want to pick up. Should arrange my loadout a bit better. Uh, maybe later. I hope the heroes kick your bit of lag. So let's see, we need one more hot dog stand, so let's try and get that. Source at Ellsworth Hospital. Updating your map. 
So let's complete our mission. And let's see if those shoulders are any good. These wrath demons are the warriors of Trigon's sinful crew. If we can calm the souls of their victims, we break one more source of Trigon's power. Uh, let's go visit the Superman statue. I believe there's a feat for that. Oh yeah. And there should be a side quest, I think, here. Greetings. The Sentinels of Magic seek to discover the magic behind these evils so we can better combat it. Can you collect the demon energy for us? Oh, there it is. I thought I heard or something. So here again, we have a bunch of demons to fight some civilians. And we have to click on some of the civilians when we uh, knock them out. So the shield uh, should be useful for that, if for some reason we don't defeat all the evil demons around us. There's quite a few enemies in a very small space, so odds are you will get attacked by enemies uh, no matter what you do. So the shield will be useful. Also, as you defeat some of the enemies, uh, it will spawn some evil demons. Thanks. I showed up to help, and these civilians just started attacking. Uh, no hard feelings. And there right? should be the avatar sitting nearby. I hate violence. Usually spawns around here, but he's not here right now, which is a good thing. We're we're no match for uh, we're no match for it right now, and we don't even have the mission anyway. At this point, uh, we're not high level enough to be able to get the the bounty. Someone help! I wanted to help people, not hurt them. Let's click on these first, and then we can uh, focus on our little uh, demon friend. so that I can uh, use the park direction a bit better. Uh, at this point, it doesn't matter. Also, what I mean by that is also rearrange it uh, on my loadout so that I can go like from left to right without having to think about which ability to use first or which ability to, to use last. And there's a few barrels here we can use if we really want to. Oh, threw it too far. Too far. It happens. I have never seen so much hate before. So let's try and find ourselves a little uh, wrath demon. You so if you don't see any on the map, just uh, knock out the civilians, and it will summon one Thanks. of those. Uh, I showed up to help, oh. and these civilians. Just There's the avatar of sin. Looks a bit different than when I first started playing. Nope. Too many uh, targets in the area. Uh, looks pretty cool. What is wrong with you people? You want some of this? 
Oh, I didn't summon anyone. Let's go. Soft racer was in the way, that's so mean. Just a couple more, and we'll be good to go. Damn it! You feel brave, Punk? Yeah. Civilians just started attacking me. So one last demon. Oh, there he is. Now we can break those benches, it seems. I'm calling in the Sentinels of Magic. If Brother Blood is raising Trigon. You'll want the best to help take him down. There are some objects in the open world that you can destroy, and some you can't. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, Oh, I hear something. Oh yeah. Not sure exactly what. Veil with a JLA watch on the Justice League's magical heroes, the Sentinels of Magic. Led by the enigmatic Lord of Order called Dr. Fate and the stunning spellmistress Zatanna, their ranks include the powerful empath Raven, daughter of the demon lord Trigon. Together, the Sentinels fight magical foes on this earthly plane and beyond. I'm not sure why they decided some items could be destroyed and uh, some could not. Obviously, they couldn't destroy everything, they couldn't make everything uh, able to be destroyed. But sometimes it seems a bit uh, arbitrary the way it works. Uh, let's use. Let's go for the gesture head style, and I'll give it to uh, one, one of my other characters. Don't need a gesture style because I'm Batman. This is the source of the evil. Brother Blood is barricaded inside, and his vile ritual will bring Trigon to this plane unless we can stop him. Zatanna, Doctor Fate, and Raven will join you inside fight for all our souls. Uh, sometimes this mission will glitch. Uh, if it happens, uh, basically uh, just wait 20 minutes and play the mission again. Like sometimes you, you finish the mission and somehow you still cannot talk to Cyborg. If that ever happens, uh, just log out, log back in and uh, replay the mission. Or just wait like 20 minutes and replay the mission. At some point uh, the mission does reset. And once the mission reset, you play it again. Hope this time it will, it will, it will uh, trigger once you let's finish it. The show on the road. Well, let's take a little side quest. If you would be so kind, could you possibly collect samples Voila. from the demons to Sometimes you don't. You seem to not trigger the end of the mission uh, if you complete the mission too quickly uh, somehow. But usually re replaying, replaying the mission and uh, completing on, it follow. again kind of fixes the issue uh, on its own. Too late. I am born onto this plane. Hail Trigon. Let me show you some real magic. Minions of last. Love those interlopers to Behind us. 
Here you can uh, admire the new Zatanna, the new Zatanna skin from the Justice League Dark call. DLC. Sometimes when there's a lot of things that you can target in a room, it messes up your targeting a bit. So let's continue. Yeah, I mean, I didn't listen to what Zatanna said. In case this is your first video you're watching, uh, there's a whole bunch of chests like that in various missions. Basically, you need to open a thousand of them to get the, all the feats. And you get little rewards in those, uh, in those little chests uh, most of the time. Sometimes you'll get a, a good reward, like here we got a nice pair of boots that we can use. Uh, sometimes you'll get a rare reward, like a rare style that your, uh, your character needs. Time to hit the gym. A lot. But usually you'll get junk, or you'll get maybe a style that you, you already have. It's sad, but it happens. Yeah, usually this is a, a little a tough one. So I would strongly suggest, don't do what I did. Just try to uh, stick to the side, so that you don't end up fighting uh, 23 demons at once. If you can pull them up to the side uh, and pick them off one by one, that's usually a better, a better option. Because yeah, as you can see, there's all of them, and they, they hit pretty hard. Eh? But luckily, your friend Raven was there to help you. I could have sworn Raven uh, does have some dialogue, but uh, you probably have to defeat all of them. I uh, guess not. No, oh, Raven go Raven's gone. I'm so sad now. So let's continue. I'm a multi-millionaire. I don't need petty cash. The one with the most cash If you need to, don't hesitate to look around, especially if it is your first time. There might be uh, investigations or briefings uh, that are hiding somewhere. Or as, a, as you saw, the little uh, chesty chest. Sometimes the chest will be in a, a pretty obvious place to look. Uh, sometimes you'll have to look around a bit. Sworn there should be a, a briefing here somewhere. Well, maybe I'm misremembering. Well, let's backtrack a bit just to be sure. I guess I'm crazy. So let us continue. Packed uh, this map with a lot of stuff. Stealing is so. Not 
sure why we can click on this little fella. I didn't look at the feed. There might be a feed to be to click on all the NPCs uh, so that you can quote unquote save them. Ah, uh, doesn't really matter. Feeds are something uh, you can figure out a little bit later on. So there is a brief an investigation here. So let's pick it up before we continue. Once the gems are all in hand, it is difficult to resist the temptation to boast. So sometimes this is where the mission will glitch a bit, so just take your time and be careful. Your victory is not faded, blood. Oh yeah, and we have the new, uh, the new fate model. to interrupt our summoning? Destroy them! Kill the blasphemer! Shun the non-believer! You trifle with the power of Trigon. Demons arise and destroy them. I should make a Dr. Fade updated video at some point. But I still need a couple of styles. Like, I, I still don't have the Dr. Fade belt. I think I need to complete uh, some briefings or investigation. I forget. So, when I do, I'll probably make a Dr. Fade 2019 video. Rise, demons! Rise! Evil brother blood. Speak. Help. Brother blood. When the world burns, only the devoted will remain. While you will be nothing but ash. Blood from torturing Dr. Fate. Burn! Burn in demonic fire! So, as you can see, there's various waves of enemies that you have to defeat. And eventually, uh, once we defeat all the waves, we should be able to defeat uh, Dr. Blood, uh, Brother Blood for good. No matter how you fight, Raven. Your fate is to be my bride and sit on the throne of blood. I'll die before I become your wife. Blood. And as you can see, there's uh, Dr. Fate that oh cast us some sort of, uh, of buff. Of attack buff. Watch me make a jerk disappear. The shield did seem to protect us to, uh, against uh, Brother Blood trying to drain us like that. Trigon will rise, and then you will burn! So let's choose our reward. Oh, let's go for the chest piece. Uh, this is the one case where I will let the cinematic play, just to be sure that uh, I trigger the end of the mission properly. Brother Blood is dangerously close to raising Trigon. We have stopped him now, but be ready. Evil will invade this plane. Trust me, 
I'm always ready. Greed, envy, lust, wrath. My sin is pride. It was a gift from my father, the demon Trigon. I have fought this evil all my life. I found a new family, the Titans, and war. They stand with me against Trigon and his cult of blood, for brother blood will never rest with Trigon's energy on this planet. Trigon will rise, and just as surely, we will be there to meet him. So we've achieved a feat. Uh, let's look around quickly to make sure we don't forget anything. Let's get out of here. So as you saw, we completed various uh, feeds, various headlines. So let us leave. So normally we should be able to go see our friend uh, Cyborg and talk to him to, to complete the mission. Uh, sadly, sometimes it doesn't work like that. Trigon will not rise this day. Brother Blood must replenish his powers before he can strike again. Return to Cyborg, and tell him that for now, we triumph. So let's go back to see our friend uh, Cyborg. I first uh, discovered Cyborg in the pages of the New Teen Titans. Uh, basically, it was a new series at the time. Uh, all the way back when I was a young man. And uh, holy crap, did I enjoy that character. I enjoyed the whole team. The whole team was pretty awesome. Uh, whether it was Raven, Star Starfire, Cyborg, uh, those were new characters uh, that were first introduced in the New Teen Titans. But Cyborg, sadly, has been. Uh, they've been trying to use him uh, in various other series uh, since then, like in the, in the 80s there was this, this series called uh, The Legend of Super Power or something like that, and they tried to add the uh, cyborgs basically to the Super Friends or to the Justice League if you will, and uh, sadly it didn't seem to have worked uh, too well because um, after that the star cyborg st did still remain a 18 Titan. Uh, sadly when we got the, the New 52 and the uh, and the Justice League movie, and they decided to make uh, Cyborg a member of the Justice League. That didn't seem to work too well as well. And now it seems he's a member of the Doom Patrol from the new uh, Doom Patrol TV show. I didn't look at the, that TV show yet. Not sure if I will. Uh, I'm gonna have to give it some thoughts. So let's uh, complete our mission. Serious den in Brother Blood's plans. Consider yourself invited to kick Trigon's butt with the Titans anytime. Okay, so that was nice. We didn't glitch. Uh, Poison Ivy's reported loose in Gotham. Check in with Robin in the East End Police Station. He's got a plan to take her back to Arkham. Aw, oh, little male robot. Ain't that cute. Also, uh, I saw a big one at some point. I think it was the... I think it was the the, the, the broker bot. I'm gonna have to try those robots uh, one day just to show you guys. Uh, let's go back to... I should go to Gotham for uh, fight to fight the evil poison ivy, but before I do that, I'll go back to my lair. Actually, poison ivy will probably be our next uh, video. So let's go back to our lair, because we can. So we've got a few new pieces of gear, so let's re-imprint, uh, oh, let's see if we got uh, any rewards I didn't use. Oh, the pants. Almost forgot about that. And we got a new skill point, so let's go assign uh, that skill point. And let's put it here. Mm -hmm. 
so we should be able to sell whatever we don't need anymore and we will repair after I'm just trying to make sure not to uh, repair something that we're going to sell anyway well it won't be a big deal but there's no real, no reason to do that I probably should keep some of the crafting stuff but uh, maybe some other day so what did I mean earlier when I said that I should tweak my loadout a bit? Uh, let's take a look. Mm, I don't think we got a new ability. And we're still uh, level 23. We're pretty close to being level 24. But uh, what I meant basically for the loadout is that if you look at some of my abilities, like a uh, cryo foam, it, it inflicts uh, frostbite on enemies, making them vulnerable to freezing effects. It electrifies enemies. Uh, electrified enemy takes uh, additional damage. Burning enemies take additional damage, and frostbitten enemies freeze and become encased. But burning enemies will not become encased. So what does all that mean? Is that uh, basically if I cast. If I cast, uh, let's say, Gauss Grenade and I, I electrify an enemy, if I cast and then Cryoform afterwards, uh, I will burn that enemy. It burns when you use against an electrified enemy. And also, electrified enemy takes additional damage. And uh, what else? Here in this case, like days, electrified, frostbitten, and burning enemies take it additional damage. So basically, this electrifies enemies, this burns enemies. So using any of those abilities will mean that this one will make more damage. Didn't realize that the napalm grenade was a was breaking encasement. It's always a bit useful to have. And here it says uh, frostbitten enemies take additional damage. So basically the idea would be, uh, let's say you, use electrify an, uh, you electrify an enemy with a gauss grenade. And then when you use cryofoam, electrified enemy takes additional damage. And cryofoam uh, freezes an, an enemy. It, 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 inflicts, it inflicts frostbite on an enemy. So when you use a uh, gauss grenade, Gross grenade does extra damage to frostbitten enemies. So you, you can pretty much create a loop, an infinite loop, where your abilities will uh, will do extra damage thanks to the previous ability that you've used. So ideally you would want to cast actually pretty much any of those two abilities doesn't, doesn't matter. So you want to cast a cryo foam or a gauss grenade first and then sticky bomb. I guess for napalm grenade, I should probably then start with napalm grenade. So you start with, uh, let's say, napalm grenade. Uh, let's move it here. So you start with napalm grenade and you burn your enemy. Then you go with cryo foam. Cryofoam, cryofoam does uh, extra damage to burning enemies, and it it uh, it frostbite enemies. Then uh, gauss grenade does extra damage to frostbitten enemies, and then sticky bomb does extra damage to electrified enemies. Uh, the reason why I meant rearranging my loadout is that this way, all I have to do is that I have to go square, triangle, square, triangle, and uh, I'll, I went through my loadout. And this here, I can just use, uh, uh, just use. Uh, I guess I could use it after the. the oh, let's do that. So basically, I would go uh, napalm grenade to burn enemies. Cryo foam uh, does extra damage to burning enemies. Then uh, Gauss Grenade does extra damage to Frostbitten enemies, which a Cryoform would have done. Sticky Bomb does extra damage to, uh, to Electrified enemies. Actually, I should do the opposite. Yeah, 
there we go. So the shield, the neutral neuralizer will uh, daze enemies. Nah, I'm, I'm, nah. See, I'm missing one ability. Basically, I would have to replace a neutral, a neutral neuralizer with something else. But for now, uh, this will do. I'm just going to use neutral neuralizer for when I need a shield. But basically, I will go uh, napalm grenade, cryofoam, gauss grenade, and uh, sticky bomb, and then I will repeat the cycle. It will make a bit more sense uh, when you actually see me use this against the enemies. Well, let me check through my, my abilities in case there might be something else I can use right now. I guess I, I could use a taser pull, but I, I don't really want to. I guess for next, uh, for now, that's, uh, that's how it's going to work. So basically you go with Nippon Grenade, Cryofoam, then Gauss Grenade, then Sticky Bomb, and you repeat the cycle. So that should allow me to eh, do a bit of extra damage if I need to. And of course, if I can use my Trinket to do a little bit more damage uh, once in a while. So that is going to be pretty much it for now. So next time we're going to go see uh, our friend uh, Robin. And uh, we'll probably end up fighting a whole bunch of, uh, of uh, plant people. And we'll probably end up fighting uh, the evil poison ivy. Uh, I guess we're going we're gonna to have to wait and see for that. So that is uh, pretty much it for now, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below. And I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. And hopefully, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.